Right, it's the uh, 11th of July, 2007, uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, I'm trying to get down, sit down, my back is still hurting a little bit. It's much better today. Uh, went to Sarah for a few hours. Went by train, it took two hours to get there. Uh, two hours on the way back as well. It's quite hot today as well. Anyway, enough of that. Um, I expect a few poems will come out of this day as well. So I thought of a few things that I haven't jotted them down, but if I remember them, then I'll write them up. Um, anyway, um, I didn't get in time for an operation. Uh, they'd already taken her. Um, but you know, when she came back, she, uh, it was a long time because they were checking her blood pressure. I got the text here, it was something like 146 over 104. I don't know if she got a pulse mixed up or, but when I saw it, it was, it was quite, quite high. I think when she worries, it goes up and in pain, obviously. Because when they, afterwards, a few hours later, when she was better, they did it again and she was 126 over 68, something like that, which is quite average, quite good. And her pulse was down as well, it was before it was 100. Anyway, so she was in a lot of pain, and you know, I kept worrying that, you know, God, she's going to come back with a tube, or, you know, the, the longer that the person's away when you, and I started recalculating the time, and maybe she left a little bit later or whatever. So I was getting quite worried. She came in the end, but she was in a lot of pain. Um, they gave her paracetamol and diacodine. Um, and that didn't work, so then they gave her morphine. Uh, intravenously um, and when she came back she'd had it over about a half an hour to an hour and she still said it was the same pain but it, it seemed to work after a few hours then it started to get better she also took some homeopathic arnica um, which is supposed to be good for pain and that I don't know if it was that or the morphine or both or whatever but she was much better after that they put in four new stitches um, 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 not real ones, so they will go on their own. Um, which is good because she was worrying about that, that you know. She, would she have to have another general? She's had three generals in uh, in six weeks. Every two weeks, she's been in in in, in surgery. So she's had to part with a lot recently. So to see her in pain today, well, we didn't expect that because we knew there was complication, of bleeding, things like that, but. Anyway, um, the surgeons came around and they said everything went well, as they expected. Um, but what they didn't, um, and the reason why there's more pain is because they didn't think it was as bad as it was. It was uh, worse than they thought it was going to be. It was weeping a lot more. So I think that's why they put four stitches in to make sure they don't come out again. And um, because obviously it's, it's another wound on top of a wound, that's why it's more painful. So I think in hindsight, it's lucky that they didn't do it. Uh, under local anaesthetic, because I've got to imagine how much pain that would have been then. Maybe that's why she couldn't do it, because of that reason that they underestimated it. So, um, and there was even a man, while well, I was waiting for Sarah, there was a man who came all the way from the Isle of Man, uh, which is all far, far away. Um, and he flew to London Airport, which I don't know if we may get Heathrow, I don't know which, which one that is. Only Heathrow is actually in London, but Gatwick for some reason is called the London Airport. And they needed to do blood tests for matching for a cornea, but it didn't get done for some reason, even though it was marked urgent. So it was wasted and it was cancelled in the end. So we had to go all the way back. And he was saying next time he'd fly to Liverpool and then get the train to London. So they had short notice or something, but Imagine all that way. He was quite an old guy as well. Um, but it was a very long day today, travelling and waiting, and then her taking. She was about two hours. It was a 50 minute operation. It took two hours, so that was why it was very worrying. And when she came back in a lot of pain, you think of all the worst things, you know, something's going wrong, and it looked like her pain was getting worse, but luckily after time, a little bit resting, it got better. When I left her, yeah, it was much better. 
but you could see the physical pain on her face, which we couldn't see two weeks ago. And she, she said it's the worst. She couldn't even open her other eye because when she opened the other eye, it would hurt that one, so she had to keep it closed for a long time, but now she can, so it looks like it's getting better. Um, the surgeon said they're going to do physical checks tomorrow, um, and so they'll probably discharge her tomorrow if everything's okay. So it's almost like we're back to square one, but um, I hope now there's no more complication, things just get better. For her sake, you know, because she's been through, you know, it's like I say, three general anaesthetics and it can't be good for the body. And, you know, and a lot of pain. Anyway, um, that's it for now.